In these problems, we want to solve the equation by making an appropriate substitution. Both of them are quadratic in form, and what that means is that the first term is, let's see, the first term here, is, um, has twice the degree of the second term here. So, I'll start by solving number 24. And we have x to the fourth minus 30x squared. Oops. It's not working very well. Okay, so x to the fourth minus 30x squared plus 125 equals 0. So the substitution I'm going to do is I'm going to take this middle term, and I'm really just looking at the variable, and I'm going to replace that with a substitute variable. So in this case, I'll just use the letter u, and u is equal to x squared. That means that u squared would equal x to the fourth. So now my new equation is u squared minus 30u plus 125 equals 0. So now I have a quadratic equation that I can factor, or I could use um, the quadratic equation. Either way is fine. And you have u and u, and let's see, 125 that's 5 times 25, and those both add up to 30. And I'll put a negative on both of those. So now I have u is equal to 5, or u is equal to 25. But I'm not done because I'm not supposed to solve for u. I'm supposed to solve for x. So now what I'll do is I'll take this, u equals x squared, and substitute back in the x squared. So I have x squared equals 5, or x squared equals 25. And now I solve each of those equations, and I get x equals plus or minus the square root of 5, or x equals plus or minus 5. So I solve those by taking the square root of both sides and make sure that you use the plus or minus on those. So that's my solution for that problem. Okay, and the next one we have x to the 2 fifths minus x to the 1 fifth minus 2 equals 0. So again, I'll substitute u for the middle term, x to the 1 fifth, and then u squared is x to the 2 fifths, and then we'll have a quadratic equation again. So u squared minus u minus 2 equals 0. And this factors. And let's see, so we want the 2 to be negative and the 1 to be positive. So then we get u equals negative 1, or u equals 2. Again, I have to substitute. So x to the 1 fifth equals negative 1, or x to the 1 fifth equals 2. So to solve this, or solve both of these equations, I need to raise both sides to the fifth power, and here I get x equals negative 1 still, because negative 1 to the fifth is negative 1. If I raise the other equation, each side to the fifth power, then I get x equals 2 to the fifth, which is 32. So I get two solutions to this equation, 
negative 1 and positive 32. And that's how you solve those problems.